This is Mark Clegg from the University of Michigan School of Music. Hello, my name is Julia Trokovitskaya. Uh, welcome to the set of Aaron Ask. A short bio is really important because it's a snapshot of who you are. And it may seem really obvious, but one of the most important things about, about a short bio is to put your most potent um, career attributes right in the beginning. In fact, you don't have a lot of words to work from. So what I would encourage you to do is to be a little bit more personal, to be a little bit more um, sort of open and engaging in your bio, to talk a little bit about maybe your history as an artist, how did you become interested in being a musician? You want your core background as it relates to your education, your performances, your recordings, your publications, uh, the key roles that you have had and currently have, those types of things. Uh, and one of the things that I like to do is to have ready to go several bios of different lengths so that when presenters come calling, you already have something that's at 50 words, let's say, 200 words or 250 words, 500 words, and then more. So it's good to have that already saved on hand. If you're sitting down to write your biography, I would really start with thinking about what are those things that make you unique? And what, are, what do you want people to walk away knowing about you and your brand, having read your biography? While I have a generalized bio, if there is a specific job or opportunity that is important to me, then I personalize it, I specify it, I make it specific for the issues and the aspects of my own history, my own biography, that I think are important to that specific person, that specific institution. For me, one of the biggest problems with bios is when artists use stock phrases that make them really part of the crowd rather than stand out from the crowd of artists that are out in the world today. Maybe one of the most damaging, for me anyway, is the phrase, um, so-and-so is you know, among the, the most compelling artists of his or her generation. So there may be amazing things that you've done, but if they're not relevant, for you getting that performance opportunity, then I probably wouldn't include it. I would encourage you not to put everything together chronologically. So your resume or your CV is there to kind of show a chronological account of everything that you've done and how that all kind of came to be in your career. But what the biography is for is not that. Um, sometimes people mistakenly take their CD and then they just put and and filler words and make it into a paragraph format and then they call it their bio, but that is not what the bio is. The bio is your opportunity to tell your story. Overall, as well, one of the things that I would say is most important about your bio, and that is not your bio. You can't just ship it off and expect magic to happen in your professional life. You are going to have to go out to people. You're going to have to go to those receptions. And while there, you're going to have to meet with those people. You're going to have to put out your hand and engage. Find out their name. Find out their interests. Find out what opportunities they might have that are relevant for your professional career. And then follow that up with calls with interest, with marketing, with networking. All of the things you do that surround your bio are far more important than your bio itself.